Hello, YouTubers. Hammy Tech, Hammy Technoid here. And uh, this is a, a, a demonstration here. I'm, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, something that I was interested in finding out how to do, and I finally found a solution for it. And I uh, want to share that with some uh, you know, people that might be interested in doing the same thing that I did. Um, what I have here in my in my house, I have a small recording studio, and here I record music. I produce my own music. But what I like to do after I've done the music is I like to mix it down into a 5.1 surround, okay? And the 5.1 surround gives it a much more, uh, I don't know, eloquent sound. You can have the sp the speakers doing separate things. You can have the, the bass over there. You can have the, the singer over there. The center speaker can be the main speaker. You can have guitars in the back. It, you can, it is up to the uh, engineer and the producer how you want to do it. It's a total freedom of how you want your sound. So anyway, I wanted to be able to play my music uh, through my big uh, theater system in the front room, which if you've looked at my other previous videos, you've seen, um, I can listen to my 5.1 mixes in my studio because I have a uh, sound card that supports that and I have the speakers in here. But I wanted to be able to move that out to the living room so I could listen to it out there. And uh, and previously, all I could do was burn my 5.1 songs onto a DVD and then I would play the DVD through my Yamaha 5.1 and it would decode the sound and play it that way. But it was cumbersome, and the maximum number of songs I could only play was 99. So I wanted to find a way to get around that. And what I was listening to my, my workers while I work, my fellow workmen, um, co-workers, they are talking about something called a Raspberry Pi. And I was curious to find out what the capabilities of this Raspberry Pi could do for me and my media, you know, and my media playing and so forth. And uh, and I would listen in and asking questions, and I found out that are there are programs that you can get for the Raspberry Pi that are media center related. And the one that mostly interested me was one called Open Elec. Open Elec is a uh, it stands for Open uh, Embedded Linux Entertainment Console. Okay. So you can play your media files through this open elect if you have a Raspberry Pi. And so I, I invested, I got a Raspberry Pi, I got a wireless keyboard, and I'm showing you pictures of here now. You'll see the pictures, and I'll post the little words that will show you what they are. Um, but the keyboard, the Raspberry Pi, and the HDMI output, that was the most significant thing of this unit. It has an HDMI output which can play videos to an HDMI device and it can also decode the 5.1 sound from HDMI. Now these audio files that I make, that I make in my studio, are Dolby Audio. They are Dolby 5.1 surround sounds. And if I could get this Raspberry Pi to play my Dolby sound files, I would be in like Flynn. It would be so much, so happy for me. I would be so happy if I could do this. So much to my surprise, when I downloaded the Open Elec and installed it on the Raspberry Pi, the first thing I wanted to do was test it out. Test it out, see if it can play the 5.1. So I got some 5.1 files, threw them on the thumb drive. The thumb drive recognized immediately. The remote little wireless keyboard recognized immediately. The Raspberry Pi is such a wonderful device. I'm glad I bought one. Um, the wireless keyboard has all the functions that I use to control the media. And I played the 5.1 file, sound file on my front sound system. And I did not hear the surround. I did not hear the 5.1 coming out. So I did a search on the internet. I did the open elect and I found out that there is a setting. Okay, there's a setting you have to go in to the program in under settings and you change it to say 5.1. It is very important you change that to 5.1. So I did that and I played the file and kaboom, 5.1 sound came out of my stereo in the living room. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate the boot up 
of the opening leg. You will see the video. The video is the boot up of the opening leg. And then the, the sound file that I custom made for this video has 5.1. Well, even though you don't hear the subwoofer going off, I didn't make a subwoofer track, but there's five different tracks of me talking from the different speakers. Now I, I did five tracks, but they're, you're only going to hear four of them well because the one speaker in the corner, there is obstructions before I could get to it. So it is playing the track, but you can't hear it very well because this, the microphone from the camera cannot pick it up and I can't get close enough to it to hear it closely as the other ones are, as you will hear in the demonstration. But I just wanted to say that if anyone wants to know how to do the 5.1 sound on a a raspberry pi you can message me in the bottom i will respond and you can have fun with your raspberry pi listening to your home theater system as i do and it will be awesomely wonderful okay so i'm going to play the video now and then we'll uh i will end it from there okay This is Hammy Tech, Hammy Technoid. I'm talking in the left front speaker. This is the left front speaker. I want you to hear me from my left front speaker now. This is the left front. So if you're listening to this speaker right now, you are hearing the left front speaker. This is Hammy Tech center front speaker. You are hearing this sound coming from the center. There's, this is the center front speaker. So you're listening to it, you are hearing it, and it, this is my voice. There's no copyright. You can't say this belongs to anybody else because this is Hammy Tech. This is me. So there. And now this is the center front speaker. You are listening to the right front speaker. Thank you. This is Hammy Tech. Enjoy your life. Yowza. Hello, YouTubers. This is Hammy Tech. Hammy Tech Noid. And this is the right front speaker. You are listening to the 5.1 surround demo tape. This is the right front speaker. You hear it. This is a separate track for the sound. So you can demo it. Okay, listen to me. Hello, YouTubers. This is Hammy Tech, Hammy Technoid, and I am coming to you from the rear speaker in the left side. So if you are facing the front, this is the left side, but it might look like it's the right side now because I'm pointing my camera camera at it and looking at it from the opposite side that you would be sitting in the room. Anyway, what I wanted to say is this is the rear speaker on one of the sides there. And if you are listening to the camera moving around, hitting the different sounds of the speakers, this is the one in the back and it's in the corner by the door. Is of the, you should see the camera, and the camera's by the door, and the camera, the speaker is right above the door. All this is technically in the left, and you can enjoy it all this way. Because the speaker, and I'm talking to you, and I'm doing it for your channel, and I'm demonstrating this, and I'm just making these sound files, so you can listen to them. No big deal, okay? No big deal that you're all listening to on... And that was the sound from the 5.1 demo tape. And this is the end of my demo. So, uh, so long for now and see you later.